I just learned what the f grooming mean. I don't even know what the f grooming mean. Grooming. F fuck is grooming. They had to explain that to me. I got the right one. I don't have no problem going to court. I'm not Russell Simmons. I'm not them other people. I don't do that. I'm very, I know my brand. My brand is Luke. Hey, we want some pussy. Face down, up, that's what I like. Me so horny. The problem is when you know your brand and you know what you're, when you know what you're singing about, you subject yourself to be in that kind of trap faster. So what you have to do is really not be about what those songs is talking about because you can get yourself jammed up. I video everything. I video everything. Everybody sign releases. I do shows. Ain't no underage people be doing no show with me. I fire girls. You get caught. Uh, oh, she was, I have chaperone for the girls. A one head dancer. It's always one head dancer. And she put everybody in check. So you're doing, I'm not, this is not a traveling whorehouse. So you go and mess around with these other artists, you're going to get sent home, sweetheart. You get fired. So Gloria Velez on her Instagram and made a post letting it be known that there's a lot of grooming that goes along in the hip hop industry. And she mentioned Uncle Luke. I just learned what the f grooming mean. I don't even know what the f grooming mean. And grooming, that's like when you build a relationship with somebody, mainly like a child, you know, you get them to trust you and you start to manipulate them to do things for you. So it's like taking advantage of a minor because you know they don't know any better. That's what grooming is from my understanding. And Uncle Luke, you know, he basically like, yo, don't play with me. I'll take your ass to court. You know, let's not forget that he's the reason we got explicit lyrics on our rap albums. You know, he fought for that and won. So he has no problem taking somebody to court. And all this came about because, like, Diddy done caught, like, three lawsuits in, like, a two-week span. Aaron Hall caught one. Even Jamie Foxx caught a stray. So, you know, they're getting hit for stuff they did back in 1990, which is, like, 30 years ago, you know. And it's crazy how when you get one lawsuit, that's when they all just start dogpiling on top of each other. You know, it's it's kind of crazy, but hey. But anyway, let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. Y'all think Gloria Velez is bugging or y'all feel like there's no time limit when to speak out against injustice. Let me know in the comments. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.